Welcome back to the One Minute Barber. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to cut your own hair in the easiest possible way, using a clipper and only a number three guard. The whole haircut will be done with that. And you can see I've just cut my hair that way. I've got some length on top. If you're wondering how to do that, that's in this video with the clipper and the number three. I'm now in my 18th year as a barber and I don't think I could describe this any easier for you. So let me show you right away what we're gonna do. Now, as you can see, the human head doesn't just go straight up the way, like Frankenstein. There's a curve on the head. So what we wanna do is we want to follow the trajectory of this comb here. We just wanna go straight up without curving over onto the top of the head with the clipper. I'm gonna take this big hand mirror and I'm just gonna hold that out in front of me and comb my hair forwards and then pull the fringe, the bangs, pull them out of the way and this side here, pull it down. Okay, that's the starting point. Now we're gonna follow that comb trajectory with the clipper. So straight up the side of the head, trust me. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. I'm just working my way around, going straight up all the way around. So this is starting to blend in already here, but we need to think about this area at the back of the head now. And you can see that there's still a curve there on the back of the head. That's known as the occipital bone, or some people call it the occipital ridge. So again, I'm just gonna go straight up here. I'm gonna go straight up, but what I don't wanna do is curve over onto the top of the crown with the clipper. Be very careful not to do that. This is important because your head shape from the side should have a nice sort of curvature to it. But if you flatten this area, it just doesn't look quite right. So did you see what I did there? I went straight up, but I didn't curve over. I just came straight off up like this. Okay, this side done, the back done. Now I'm gonna do this side, and what I'm gonna do is just pull all my hair out of the way from the top, so that doesn't get involved in the short stuff. There we go. And again, I'm just gonna go straight up the side of the head. Please don't panic when you do this. Try to relax, just be relaxed. Chill out, trust me, it does work. You don't need to do anything crazy like pull the clipper away or shove it in or dig into your head. Just relax, straight up the side of the head. Okay, now to cut the top. And this is the bit that freaks everyone out. They're like, how can that possibly work? Believe me, it works. What happens is it's gonna thin the hair and it's gonna take not the length, but the density that the hair is sitting on the top of the head down. That's the way it's gonna work. But when you pick the hair up, it will be long. What you need to do is get all your hair going in the right direction. So for me, my hair goes like this. I'm just gonna comb it in the direction that it lies, okay? There we go. That's about right for me. Maybe your hair drifts over to the side, okay? If that's the case, that's the way you're gonna work. Now that's in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work 
with the grain, with the clipper, I'm gonna work in this direction, not against the hair, because what will happen is it will stand the hair on end and cut it right down to the length of the guard. We want to go with the grain with the hair lying flat. Here goes nothing. So plant the clipper at the back of the head and just pull it forward with the grain of the hair. Did you see that hair coming off there? Little tip here, if you don't want to completely obliterate your fringe, just lift it slightly higher as you come down to the fringe. Or don't go over the fringe, but that's up to you. Notice at the sides I come down this way because that's the way that my hair grows. In order to blend in that little bit at the back with the three on the working down method, get yourself very close to two mirrors, just like this. The same principle applies, just work down the way on the weight. Okay, so that has removed the bulk. I've taken the three straight up the sides, made it nice and square. I've taken the bulk off the sides. It's still slightly not blended in. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. What about the fringe? I'm just gonna pull that down. Now remember, this is a bush haircut. This isn't the uh, best haircut you're ever gonna have. This is you cutting your own hair. Now, because I'm gonna style this, I don't mind cutting it blunt on the front. I can cut it quite blunt because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it up here and no one will ever know. So let's cut that blunt. Now, try and avoid your eyebrows when you do this, okay? I'm gonna take the clipper and plant it just above my eyebrows on the forehead. I'm not gonna lie, that did scare me a little bit going around the eyebrows with the clipper, but just be careful, okay? If I can do it, you can do it. Now we've got this ear hair around here and the neck hair to tidy up. My advice in this area is to just be careful, okay? Don't go up too high into the hair. You only wanna take the tiny little hairs that are sticking out, okay? They'll just be some tiny little messy hair. So just try and basically draw around your ear with the corner of the clipper. That'll do me there. Now the neck hair, that's a tricky one. When you look at your neck hair, you'll notice that there's an area where you have really dense hair and then sparse hair. And there, and there should be like a pretty kind of solid line. So try not to go over that line with the clipper because that's you going into your head hair, your scalp hair, which is not gonna look right at all. So we're only taking the fluff off. Now that I've finished the cut, it's not the complete article. Remember, this is a bush haircut. 
This isn't a professional haircut, but it's acceptable. So I'm going to style it now with some hairborne texturizer. I'll leave links for that down below. Um, if you're in the United States, I'll leave links for Gents of London Salt Spray, which is similar. But basically, just spray this in and dry it into the hair. It'll make it really rough, and I love the finish of it. So let's take a look. And I love the smell of this stuff. I'm just going to dry it in and just ruffle my hair as I work. I'm happy with that and because I'm a little bit thinner on top, it gives me a chance to kind of fluff my hair up a little bit when I use salt spray. Great tip for you there. Look, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found something useful in it. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe down below. I'll be back with more again soon and until then, good luck with your own self-haircutting.